So it's that time of year again. You know, the time where we all repost that Instagram quote of give yourself six months and work on yourself and glow up and become unrecognizable by summer. That starts right now. Now, I used to be somebody who would repost that quote often, but didn't actually do the work in those six months. And then I would kind of be upset as to why maybe I didn't have confidence, why I didn't have the long hair, better skin, better health, more money in my bank account. But over the years on my glow up journey, I have learned that in order for me to really live out my dream life and become the girl on my Pinterest board, I really do have to take that action. I really do have to put my time and attention into something, let's say for six months, in order to reap the rewards and the benefits of my hard work. And now that the winter season is here, I feel like a lot of us, we like to focus on our self care and really coming back to ourselves and working on ourselves and some of the things that I have been practicing right now in my life like for my hair care or my body care or my fitness or my health I know that these things will take time for me to actually see the benefits and now over the years on my glow up journey I have learned the importance of really not only committing, but taking action on this six months, putting your focus into yourself and glowing up energy. I really did that. I did that with so many things in my life. I got out of chronic illness. I got out of nerve pain. I grew my hair. I wrote a book. I grew my YouTube channel. I grew my finances. I grew my entire life, honestly. And understanding the type of work that is needed to become this person that I wanna be in my vision board now is the season once again that I'm coming back to myself and saying, okay, what are the things that I wanna focus on right now so that I can reap the rewards in June? And I think sometimes we like to do like pre-summer glow ups, which is fine and will do, but realistically, your real glow up starts right now. If you wanna become unrecognizable, whether that be physically, mentally, financially, whatever it is, any area of your life, it starts now. So y'all know if I have the turban towel on, that means it's a self-care day. So I just came out of the shower. I'm halfway through my hair care routine, but I wanted to start this video first and I need to do my eyebrows and dermaplan my face. And then we're gonna do some skincare. So I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrows and just do a B-roll because I'm not gonna be able to talk while I'm doing my eyebrows. If you guys want my eyebrow routine, I will have it linked down below because I made a video on my clean girl beauty routine. But I wanna do my eyebrows, but then we're gonna go into the washroom. We're gonna do some self-care and we're gonna chat. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to really start this six month glow up journey right now and things you really need to think about because these are things that I have been thinking about and actively taking action on so that I can become unrecognizable in June. done dermal planning and eyebrows I just wash my face with fresh beauty soy cleanser love this face wash and I'm actually gonna go in with my dr. Dennis gross chemical peels because I usually like to do this like two to three times a week and this is a chemical exfoliant so instead of a physical exfoliant like you're using something that physically will potentially get the dirt and the grime off my face these can help with pigmentation this can help really just get deeper into layers of skin but anyways, this is not what this video is about. Um, I have to rub this on my face for two minutes, let it sit, and then do the other one, and then we'll do skincare. Okay, so, you know, how do you, like, not be the girl who's just reposting the quote of the six months thing, but then not actually doing anything? Like, how do we not do that? And I think the first step is really thinking, and you can do this as a, uh, a journal practice. This is actually a great practice. I love doing this, like, all the time, but especially when you're really, like, gearing up six months, let me put in the work, thinking about who do you want to be in six months? So I'm gonna give you the timeline of June because I'm recording this in December and realistically like January, whatever. 
So in June, how do you want to feel? How do you want to look? What do you want your life to be like? Really sitting with those questions and you can go down the list of like, okay, how do you want your finances to be? How do you want your health to be, your hair to be, your social life to be, everything. And like for me, I want my hair to be the most beautiful, the most vibrant, the most radiant. I want my glutes and my body to be the fittest, the nicest it's ever been. I want my bank account to be on 10. <laughs> I want my podcast to be big. I want my book to sell as many copies as possible. If you don't know, I have a book, The Ultimate Glow Up Guide. It is going to be released January 9th, but if you pre-order now, you will get a free shadow work journal prompt guide. So all the details will be down below. This guide is a guide for self-care, self-growth, and becoming the best version of you. But I have some goals. But the thing is, is the hair, the glutes, the skin, the bank account, the podcast. These things take some time, right? It takes time for your hair to grow. It takes time for your bank account to grow. It takes time for the podcast to hit those numbers that I want them to hit. It takes time for my glutes to grow. And I even think about, you know, the past year I've been very, very consistent and so good with some of my healthy routines in my life, especially weightlifting. And I'm only now just seeing the results, the fruits of my labor for this past year, now with my legs, like my glutes are growing, my legs are muscular the way that honestly they used to be when I used to train, although I'm so much healthier now and so much more balanced, but you know, I'm really starting to reap those rewards. Same thing with my hair, my skin, all of these things. Like your body needs time to heal, your body needs time to grow, your bank account, your life needs time to grow. Now, it doesn't mean that everything is gonna take six months, but Let's let's think about this for a second. Like if we're talking about wanting to feel like glowed up in the summer, yes, we can have a quick glow up. Like, you know, those 24 hour glow ups that you have um, in the springtime or the summer, or we can do a challenge, which we'll do. We'll probably do it on the podcast. I do have a podcast, by the way. If you want more content from me on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, wherever, the Glow Up Secrets podcast, we'll definitely do some of those things in prep. But like I said, the true glow up really starts now. At least that's what I'm doing. So after you think about the person that you want to be, the girl that you want to be, the life that you want to have in the next, let's say, six months, what are the things that you need to start doing now so that you can reap those rewards and those benefits in six months? So like one of the things for me, I really want my hair to grow longer, thicker, fuller. It is already very long, thick, full from all the work that I've been putting in, but I wanna keep seeing that growth. Well, that means every single week, I need to dedicate time to do my self-care routines. Now, this is actually what I'm doing. Like I actually just went into the shower and I detangled my hair and I exfoliated my scalp with a pre-oil um, scalp massage, actually. So this is from Tony Rose, and it's a pre-wash scalp oil, I should say, sorry. And then I went in on my scalp, and I just like, obviously massaged that into my scalp to um, help exfoliate my roots. Why can I not like find the words? <laughs> and then I did um, a deep exfoliant shampoo from Briagio, I think I will link all my products that I use and I do have an everything shower routine Like I said at clean girl as well for more details um, and then I put a Deep conditioner in my hair, which is in my hair right now And that is from Coco and Eve and it smells so good. It's called Coco and Eve like a version super nourishing coconut and fig hair mask um, hair masks and getting under a hot cap every single week has been something that has transformed the health of my hair. So I know specifically that this routine is imperative if I want my hair to continue to flourish. And honestly, in general, my hair does um, involve a lot more upkeep than maybe somebody with straight hair because I have such curly, thick hair that always tangles. So if I want a certain type of hair, if I want a certain type of result in my life, there's gonna be steps that I have to take consistently so that I can see those results. Okay, I'm going in with my Glow Toner by Charlotte Tilbury. It's almost done. I freaking love this toner. And also just thinking like my book that is almost out for release, but of course you can pre-order it. I started writing my book last year. Like it literally takes, if you guys don't know, about a year to honestly write and then make sure you're getting all of, depends on like what you're doing, I guess if you're publishing with a publishing house or you're doing it by yourself, but I was with a publishing house. So I wrote the book and then sent it in with my editors. We went back and forth, we did the marketing, we did everything. And only in January 9th 
a year later is the book coming up. So it takes a while to do some really big impactful things in your life, but also even when it comes to like your health and your wellness or whatever it is, but these things are the things that we actually want, right? Like we could talk about doing a 24 hour glow up and you know, like yeah, finding the quick fix or the quick fad diet, but let's, let's look for long-term sustainable results because personally for me, I want that. I want to always have great hair. I want to always have great health. I want to always have good finances. Will life be perfect? No, but now let's say, bring it back to my hair or my glutes, I have built a foundation the past year that now the work that I'm putting in for June, I'm only just compounding. Everything is just compound interest. Next, I'm going in with Vichy Mineral 89. This is a uh, hyaluronic acid. I freaking love this stuff. So thinking about the person that you wanna be, let's say um, you really wanna be a YouTuber this summer. Okay, babe, well, you gotta start now. You gotta start now because most likely you're gonna have to be consistent and continue to put out videos until one pops off essentially or you start to build that community. Like things take time. Next, I'm going in with my Fresh Beauty Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. I don't also always do this long and extensive skincare, but today is like my self care day, so that's why I'm doing it. All right, and once you kind of get clear with, okay, you know, if I want the hair, then I'm gonna need to do at least commit to once a week deep conditioning mass. Or if I want to become this YouTuber, I'm gonna need to learn how to film and edit and speak on camera and then start posting consistently. Whatever it is that you know that you're gonna have to do or even like getting back into the gym and being consistent with that, what is your plan of action? Because this is the thing. We can think about the girl that we wanna be in June and we could think about all the practices in which will get us there. Yes, we know those ones. Go on Pinterest and you can literally type in six months glow, glow up and it'll tell you hair, body, skin, this, that, and the third. But realistically, the thing that is going to get you into this identity in June is you taking action every day. Slow, consistent, sustainable action, but action. And the best way to take action in your life is to have some sort of plan. And if you don't have a plan, then you can, what? Plan to fail. So bringing it back to my hair, let's say. There are specific days out of the week that I write in my calendar when it is that I'm gonna do my deep hair conditioning mask. Um, there are certain days during my week that I know that I need to get into the gym to do my leg days. There are certain days that I'm going to need to film edit and upload in order for me to consistently be a YouTuber or a podcaster. If I want a certain amount of money in my bank account, I'm gonna need to sit down and make a budget and see how much money is coming in, how much money is going out, can I make a plan, and this is how much money I'm gonna to need to be saving every single month, and these are the actions that I'm gonna be taking in order to do that, so that in six months I have 10K saved, 20K saved, whatever it is. Or if you really want like a new career, you wanna switch careers, what do you have to do today in order to become that person? Well, you probably need to go online and start looking at different types of jobs. Maybe you are looking at different types of trainings that you're gonna to need to take. I'm taking an embodiment training. And something that I've really wanted to add into my one-on-one coaching practices it is more of this embodiment, feminine energy, nervous system regulation. And if I wanna be that type of coach, then I'm gonna to need to take a training in which I'm gonna to need to start now if I wanna see myself being that coach, let's say in the summertime. Last thing that I'm putting on my skin is my Fresh Beauty Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. Like I said, all of these will be linked down below. So I have, like I said, my hair mask still in my hair. And what I like to do is take my heat cap and then sit under the heat cap for like, I don't know, however much time that I have, but at least like 30 minutes, no, um, I was gonna say little, but that's not the right word, whatever. <laughs> you, guys, you guys know what I mean. Um, so I'm gonna sit under there, and then I'm gonna come to the tub, wash it out, and I like to flip my hair over and then rake in all of my products when I'm doing a long day like this. And then I'm gonna go in and put my Inner Sense Leave-In Cream, rake that through my curls, and then I'm gonna put my Inner Sense Gel over top of that, and I'm gonna probably use a little bit of a mousse. And then I put it back up actually for a moment so my hair can soak. But throughout the whole entire day, I'm just gonna have my hair soaking essentially with all of my products. And then after that, we are going to talk about a few more things that I think are very crucial when it comes to being somebody who is gonna embody this energy of six months, 
wanting to work on yourself, wanting to become unrecognizable. These are things that were always the biggest things that got into my way, so I wanna talk about that. But one other thing actually I forgot to say is I, when I came out of the shower, I used my Body Shop Almond Milk Body Butter. This, so good, so good. I've been using a lot of body butters. I really like Tree Hut as well, but this, it's the smell I think for me like the almond milk. I think it's like some sort of vanilla. I don't really know So let's do the hair and then we will be back done my hair now it's still back in the turban towel because like I said I want to let it um, dry a little bit and then my hair will be nice and curly and beautiful and hydrated so a lot of the reasons why I actually would get in my own way and not stick to like a six-month plan let's say of something and just like upkeep things was because I was so attached to the outcome. And what I mean attached to the outcome, my self-worth was residing on me having this outcome. So in my mind, I didn't look at myself as worthy of enjoying life or relationships or really just anything in my life until I had the body or until I had the hair or until I had the perfect teeth or until I had the money in my bank account. So because my self-worth was so attached to like me having this outcome, I would obviously pick up behaviors and things to try and get to my end goal quick. But of course you end up burning yourself out, right? So let's say like, okay, I wanna be skinny for summer or whatever. If you don't live your life and you look at yourself like you're literally not worthy right now as you are in your body, even if you aren't where you wanna be, what you will tend to do is look for the quickest fix. So like you'll start fad dieting or you will get on this new challenge that's like so incredibly hard to keep up to the point where you of course are gonna fall off or you restrict yourself so much, but then of course you fall off, you binge, you burn out, and then you kind of keep restarting the cycle. But then by June, you don't actually get any results because you kept starting and stopping things. And you're starting and stopping things because you really want that outcome, which is a normal thing to want in your life. But understanding that you being consistent and slow and patient and really detaching from that outcome is going to actually get you those results in your life. Now, sometimes it's really hard to detach from the outcome essentially because you don't have a lot of self-worth. I'm not saying everyone always has no self-worth if they have goals and they are attached to outcomes, 100% no. But for me personally, especially when it comes to like health and fitness and like body image, I really didn't have a lot of self-worth. So what has helped me on my journey is learning to accept where I'm at right now, even as I'm on this pursuit of being this new version of me in June. So like accepting my hair for how it is right now, accepting my body and my glutes the way that it is right now, accepting my finances the way that it is right now, being grateful for these things and choosing to do these habits that are gonna bring me to this version of me from a place of love and also from a place of understanding that I don't need to be a perfectionist, I don't need to do things 100%, I don't need to do everything all or nothing or to get these results. And now I've shown myself this over the past few years, but especially this year. So I'm more able to see that I can still get results being very uh, minimal, I guess. But I think just like reminding yourself, like when has something really good ever come to you when you've operated out of scarcity of needing this thing so bad, right? And most of the time you just don't. Usually a lot of things that are great that you want in your life will take some time. I'm not saying it has to take forever, but it does. Now, if you get into these cycles a lot, there's 
not usually there always is an internal battle that's going on the part of us that just maybe you know doesn't take care of ourselves because maybe we don't feel worthy but then also the part of us that really wants this love and acceptance and we want to change ourselves so badly they're kind of like at war and this is what i wrote in my book like i talked about this a lot in my book the internal battle that happens within us in which Sometimes you have to go to the root and really work on those self-worth issues if you find that you are saying like, you know, I'm not worthy of how I look or I'm not happy with what I have right now until I get this end result. Because obviously when you kind of get into that cycle, then you end up doing those like starting and stopping behaviors. And of course that's not gonna get you close to your goals. So I would highly suggest you consider purchasing my book because I, talk a lot about self-sabotage, reparenting yourself, the emotional side, the inner critic that likes to come online when you are on a pursuit to your, your goals and your glow up. Like this is what I went through for so many years and you know, loving yourself through a process of glowing up and being really consistent is going to be the best thing you can do for yourself long-term, but it will also allow you to detach from the outcome because when I can look in the mirror and say, you know, my hair is still really great right now. And honestly, my finances are really great right now. And yeah, I'm not perfect, but I don't have to be. When I look at myself like that, I'm not rushing the process. I'm giving myself ample amounts of time to do my wellness routines, do my hair care, do all of the things that I need to, to think clearly, to invest in myself in a, in a healthy way, whether that be like programs or whatever it is that I need to do. And because there's no rush, I end up doing it more frequently. And you want frequency and consistency if you wanna become this person in June. And I even think about my hair growth Recently, I just went and got a trim for my hair because I knew that I wanted more growth for my hair. Let's say, I wasn't really thinking about summer, but let's say like spring, summertime, which meant I was gonna need to, of course, get a trim to make sure that I'm like letting my hair grow. Um, but when I got that trim, obviously like wasn't the nicest to have to trim off some of my hair. I didn't take off a lot. Like you can, you can't really tell, but I can tell obviously. But I knew that today's discomfort, not too much of it, but today's discomfort will feel so much more worth it in June. But on top of that, I was still looking at myself in this discomfort of I have shorter hair now as I'm also still beautiful with the short hair. And also I am going to be potentially getting an Invisalign. It's not certain yet, but I've been really considering it and we're, we're doing a bunch of appointments for that. And I know that Invisalign, it's not gonna be tomorrow that I'm gonna have any sort of straight or teeth or anything, it's gonna be down the line. And you know, the process of that is not gonna be the com most comfortable, but I am willing to be a little bit in this discomfort so that I can reap the rewards. And I find what helps you be in this discomfort is accepting that, okay, yes, um, my life is not perfect. Or yes, I have to wear these braces or uh, yes, my hair has to be short a little bit right now. And if you can love yourself and say like, you know, yes, it's discomfort, but also I accept it, it's fine. I really find that not only do you stay consistent, but things come to you a lot quicker. And something that I've learned on my globe journey is I wanna be okay with myself as I'm on a pursuit to something. Like regardless of if me, like this, this self-love energy, accepting energy is gonna get me closer to my goals or not, or, or if it's gonna get me my goals or not, I just genuinely like don't wanna spend my life always looking at myself like not good enough until I get that thing. Like not good enough until six months hits when I glow up. I'm looking at myself right now like amazing, great, beautiful, stunning, everything is great. Do I have the best days? No, obviously. But I'm just saying like for the most part, I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at right now. And not only does it give me the capacity to show up for myself more, but it just gives me the opportunity to live in the present moment because what are we doing this glow up for if we can't enjoy life because I'll tell you this, what I learned, and I think most people learn this on a fitness and health journey, and even like when it comes to success, you will get the success and you will get the body, but then what? If you have discounted all of your relationships, your friendships, you've isolated yourself, you have been so hard on yourself, and then you get the goal, it's like, 
okay, but you have this great body or you have this money, but you have no one to spend it with, or you have no friends or you have no life to go out and experience life and your new body and your new hair and like let it out because you've literally isolated yourself. You know what I mean? So I just think the thing that's helped me the most and the thing that I will continue to do is to detach from the outcomes that I am also working towards for this June version of me, which can be really hard, right? Cause it's like a balance, like it's conflicting in a way. But what has helped me is, you know, accepting where I'm at right now and telling myself I don't have to be perfect and it's gonna be worth it, yes, but also like life is so much more than who I'm gonna be in June. It's, it's about who I am right now. But if you do find you struggle with telling yourself that you're okay in this moment and looking at yourself as worthy and lovable right now, then again, it is important that you go internally and do that deeper work because no beauty routine, no, plan is really going to fix that internal problem and again that's what i talked about in my book i really did have to do that deep inner child healing because that's really what it is we have these inner child wounds where we don't believe that we're good enough and we have to change ourselves in order to get love and success and great things in our lives and on one hand yes there's going to be actions in which we're going to need to take in order to level up but also there's a worthiness that we inherently hold but sometimes we haven't been taught that which many of us haven't unfortunately so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was like pretty quick in terms of what I've showed you. Um, let me know what you guys wanna see next. If you guys wanna see any other routines that I'm doing or planning or beauty related, hair related, anything like that, we can talk about any sort of topics that you want. And yeah, everything for my book will be down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.